Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. And in this video, we're gonna walk through uh, setting up Sublime Text 3. Now, this video is for those who just installed Sublime Text and uh, uh, wanna do uh, customize the Sublime Text. Basically, that way I do. I have tried many ways customizing Sublime Text, and I figured out that only few few tweaks or few changes may boost your writing code experience on Sublime Text. So I just wanted to. Uh, do that for you today. Did a fresh installation of Sublime Text, and here it is. And let's check this out if it, if it is the latest version. So I'm going to check for updates. Okay, so no updates available. So this is the latest version. So let's install Package Controller. Now in Sublime Text 3, they made it super easy to install Package Controller. So all they have to do is click on the tools and click on the Install Package Control. And that will install the package control for you. And package control was successfully installed. Okay, so that's great. All right, so next up, we're gonna install a uh, sidebar enhancement. To install this, all you have to do is type Command Shift P and search here for install, and click on the install package. So that's gonna bring up all the possible downloadable packages for you. You just have to search for the package the package that you're looking for. So in my case it is sidebar enhancements and here you go. Just click on that and the status bar you can see that sidebar en enhancements is downloading and it's been automatically installed for us. So we don't have to do basically anything at all. Now right click on it and you can see there's a tons of options. That gonna of course boost your productivity while you write code on Sublime Text. Next up, I'm going to install a theme. Alright, so a Jala theme. So it's a cool theme and it's almost, uh, it got lots of downloads as well. So let's go ahead and install this theme. So again, uh, go to Sublime Text and press Command Shift P and install packages and type here your theme name. So a Jala theme and Click on it, and you can see in the status bar, it's downloading the theme for us, and it will automatically install them as well. All right, so uh, the theme installed successfully. Now here have, we have some uh, basic uh, options, uh, customizable, uh, all the settings that the theme provide. Uh, to customize Sublime Text, go click on the Sublime Text and go to Preference and Settings. And then the settings, we have few options. Now, uh, if you wanted to enable this theme, we have to uh, go to the settings and and tell Sublime Text to use this theme. And here is this code. This is a this is just a simple JSON file. So we have to copy this, and we go to the settings, and I'm gonna put a comma here and just paste that hit command S just save it and now you can see that we have a very beautiful theme here looks really great stick to this theme and uh, there are some other settings uh, that you can use this is a theme agile, agile sidebar small so if we, if we want a smaller sidebar, I think yes, we want. So let's just put this in here. Save that. And you can see that now we have a smaller sidebar. And then we have some other options here as well. So however, we have a tons of settings and options here. Now let's talk about some of the default settings that Sublime Text comes with. One is font face. Now I personally uh, like the Monaco font. It's not cross-platform, but it's available for both Windows and, Mac, uh, and uh, Linux as well. Uh, so you can download them, I think, from GitHub. Uh, just search for Monaco font on GitHub and you will find a repository that maintains the font for Windows and Linux and download that and install that. Uh, Monaco font is pretty is pretty awesome. So if you want to use the Monaco font on Sublime Text, just type in the font face and type the font name here. In case in our case this is Monaco. And 
it's already in the monolith form. That's great. Now we have the font size. We know what it do. Now another thing that I really like, uh, like to do all the time is to uh, translate tabs to space. So what it does, it translates our tabs with space, which is pretty good practice to maintain while we write code. And if you want to highlight the current line, you can do this from here. So there it is, line padding top. I'm going to add that here. So I'm going to add 5 and line padding bottom. So I'm going to add here 5 as well. So once I hit command S, you can see the change. So let's do this. Now you can see that the uh, it gets a very good padding on top of uh, and the bottom of each line, which looks so pretty for our uh, code. It's a more readable code now, right now, I guess. Many people don't like them. We maybe need some less padding on top and bottom of the line. Doesn't really matter. So that is pretty much it for this video, I guess. And if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And post a comment below if you want to recommend any any package that I that I'm missing. Thank you again.